Good morning, students. We are discussing on pavement design and highway construction. In this lecture, we will discuss on a few uh, new technologies that are in use in pavement constructions. So, starting with the first one, that is the recycling of pavements using aggregates. That is the recycle aggregate pavements, and that we have to uh, discuss uh, on few processes in which the first one that is the recycling of pavement now recycling of pavement is the process in which recycling of the pavement is the process in which the existing pavement materials are reclaimed and reused after processing for resurfacing repaving or the reconstruction all this reprocessing all these things are depend upon the condition of the existing pavement, the nature of the reclaimed material, the method of reprocessing and the treatment that the pavement requires. The justification for reclaiming the pavement materials consisting mainly of aggregates and bituminous binders. The aggregate existing in the pavements are the part of natural resources from the environment and it should not be simply dumped at the dump site if a pavement fails becomes inserviceable because it will cause the damage to the environment which will be further accentuated by the extracting more virgin aggregates from the environment in the replacement of the wasted materials the economic justification comes from the utilization of the bitumen that is already existing in the pavement which reduce the requirement of expensive virgin bitumen so by recycling the pavement we can fulfill two main thing that is the economical and the environmental safe so by recycling pavement we get two benefits that it give the it keep the environment safe and the second it is also become economical process of constructing the pavement okay so after that second process is reclaiming and reprocessing of the material so these things involve both the design part and the technology part now design part that means how the pavement should be designed using reclaimed material with the given property and the technology that means the methods to reclaim and reprocess or the equipments and the quality that we give to the pavement once both the issues are satisfactory handled there should be evidence of good performance of the recycled pavements in terms of strength, durability and the serviceability. Now, if the three major factors for the pavement that is the design, technology and performance, okay, combinedly recycling, recycling of the pavement is environmentally and economically better option for the pavement repair, rehabilitation or the reconstruction compared to one which uses fresh or the virgin material if the three factor works combined that is the design technology and the performance the next that is the variability in terms of aggregate gradation and the binder content the reclaimed materials usually have a lot of variability in terms of aggregate gradation and binder content that depending upon the location they come from where they come from and the layers they are drawn from the method used for reclaiming and this variabilities which is required to be accounted for in designing a mix of uniform quality the mixing standard should be as per the specification now the overview of reclamation and recycling the complete technology package requires consideration and provision of all the process that is reclamation of the pavement material 
handling the reclaimed material, processing of the reclaimed material and the construction process. There are essentially two different types of recycling technology available and those are in, pla in place and in plant. Now each this having two different variants that is, that is cold and hot. Cold recycling technology has three options form between immersion and the stabilization wherein hot technology has two options that is hot process and the cold process. Well, if we talk about in place handling of reclaimed material, the in place handling of reclaimed material is usually combined with mixing, laying and construction all these in a close sequence. Of site handling involves independent process such as recrushing, segregation into the different size fraction, and the stockpiling. Now, mixing is a separate off site process which is to be followed by the transportation, laying, and the construction. If we talk about the performance of recycled pavement in India, evidence is only anecdotal and no systematic documentation is available though it has been spor sporadically used in several projects in the country. The absence of guidelines on the subject may be one of the reason for lack of its evidence. There are many documented evidences from abroad for the good performance of recycling technology. The subject is fulfillment of certain site specific and material specific requirements. Talking about the cold recycling process that is the part of recycled pavement. Okay, This process involves reuse of the existing pavement materials without the application of heat. The recycling agent in a cold recycling can be emulsion, can be form bitumen and cementitious material either alone or in combination. The cold recycling offers three different options cold in place, cold in plant and the full depth reclamination. Talking about the cold in place recycling. The cold in place recycling is used to restore and reuse the existing material that is reducing the amount of outside material required to be hold to the site. This effectively improves the road surface and the strength while minimizing the expenses typically incurred during the paving process. In addition, CIP that is the cold in place can correct deep asphalt defects such as the rutting, fatty and the cracking that cannot be addressed by a surface treatment or an overlay and it allows minor correction to the profile of a road surface. It also reduces reflective cracking and result in a minor convenience to the traffic as its name implies this is a cold process that requires the minimal additional heat during the rejuvenation of the asphalt material resulting in a decrease in the amount of energy required to produce the final material. While talking about the cold in plant recycling, in the cold in plant recycling, the RBM is transported to a mobile cold mixing plant that is located in the vicinity of the job, then it should be measured. Uh, then measured quantities of RBM and the fresh aggregates are cold fed into a twin shaft pug mill and metered quantities of binder either in the form of bitumen emulsion or in the form of bitumen is injected. All the ingredients are mixed and blended for a certain duration to reduce the homogeneous mix which is transported to the work site, paved and then compacted. The requirements of cold in place therefore involve the proper control on material feed and mixing the process that is including the mixing time. Precise control on the mixing time is important because over mixing can cause the premature breaking of emulsified bitumen. 
under mixing may result in insufficient coating of aggregates. Similarly, the rate of injection of hot bitumen and the water that is to reduce the form bitumen should be so regulated that the bitumen form uniformly coats the aggregates. Thus, the cold in plant should have all the features and control as cold in place recycling. Now talking about the hot in place recycling. In hot in place recycling, the existing pavement is heated and softened and then sacrificed or the mild to a specific depth. Here the critical issue that involved in hot in place process recycling plant and process are heating of the pavement, sacrification and collecting and conveying the RBM to the mixture. Additionally, the rejuvenators and the fresh mixes into the mixture, proper mixing of all the ingredients, laying and the paving of the mat and compaction. Therefore, the hot in place recycling plants should have all these facilities in one plant or it should have a train of train of equipment that is performing the different functions in a synchronized manner heating material feed mixing and laying are the process to be strictly controlled for an example heating of the surface has to be uniform and for that the number of preheating units is not as important as the length of the heating area Similarly, rejuvenator does not have to be metered or the controlled where the fresh mixtures are added. Its input quantities have to be controlled. Hot in place recycling can be a single pass or the multiple pass process. In single pass process, the sacrificed in place material is compacted and that is the end of the process. In multiple pass operation, the compacted mix is overlaid by the fresh mix and then the depth of treatment varies between the 20 to 50 millimeter and the temperature of the mix in the range of 110 to 150 degrees Celsius. So this was all about the technology recycling technology okay i hope students you understand the topic thoroughly thank you so much students for your kind attention we'll see you in the next lecture